Hey y'all, John here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be making another video on iMazing. iMazing is, of course, my favorite iOS backup tool compared to iCloud backups, if you have the storage space. Um, I, of course, have a server, so this works perfectly for me. This, this tool basically backs up my iPhone automatically every day. Once I hit the Wi-Fi network, um, it has stored everything for me. And But today we are going to be downgrading from the iOS 18.1 developer beta back down to iOS 17.5.1 stable. Um, basically trying to get ready for the official release of iOS 18.0 on my iPhone. Um, I've gotten all of the Apple intelligence stuff out of my system and I'm, and I'm ready to go back to stable software and also to get ready for the iOS, um, for the iPhone 16 Pro Max that's coming in. I basically don't wanna run dev beta on that, so I just wanna get myself ready. So, um, before I even installed the iOS 18.1 beta months ago, back in June, I did a backup best thing i have ever done um i have that sitting in the archive just waiting just in case i do need it so the main thing is that i will be rolling my software all the way back down to that um my messages will be out of date whatsapp will be out of date but of course that's all in the cloud so basically the idea is restore the backup and then messages in icloud and whatsapp will all download current messages so all of that will be back to normal photos will also be back up to date um, only setback I had was the fact I had stolen device protection turned on. So basically, um, it prevents any an attacker from knowing your passcode and like doing anything critical on your iPhone, like making any changes, like turning off fi turning off Find My. So I went into iCloud.com, de deactivated um, Find My on my iPhone just so I don't have to worry about activation lock, even though I do know my iPhone password. And from there, I was able to tell. Um, I'm amazing to factory reset my iPhone and download the latest IPSW file for iOS 17.5.1 onto my iPhone and then restored it. So we're going to get on the desktop and just going to show you what all this looks like. Hopefully all of this is in focus, recording this on the FX3 once again, but we're using manual focus and focus peaking on the S23 Ultra with Mario to Plus. Hopefully that isn't too much information, but let's get on the Mac and I'm going to show you how all of this works. Back. Well, we got the iOS installed. Um, basically downgraded back to iOS 17.6.1 um, and basically archived all of our old backups except for the latest and then I moved over to the old backup section. So this is my, of course, the 18.1 dev beta that we just did. Um, that was from today and we're going to be restoring this. So the hold up I had was that I have stolen device protection on. So I just decided I was just going to wipe the device a different way in iMazing and we're going to restore it with this. So um, stolen device protection basically delays your um, any significant um, changes for like an hour and I don't want to wait an hour. So I decided you know, I'm just going to remove it from the iCloud portal and we're going to wipe it. So I wiped it back to factory settings and I'm sitting at the iOS setup screen. So now we're going to go into here. Since iCloud um, basically, um, how do I say this? The uh, Find My Device is off from the cloud. It should be able to just activate. If it doesn't, I do have my iCloud password anyway, so we should be okay. So we're just gonna click this, which is the iOS, um, the app, basically the iPhone that's connected, and we're going to click next. Um, install everything, obviously. Install all apps. It's already been wiped, so I don't need to erase it again. Uh, let's see, my eSIM survived since it's still in service, so that's great. And of course, just call it John's iPhone. So next, and yes, I want to restore the backup from this time onto the iPhone. Restore. And it should start going from there. So it's gonna start pulling it off of the data set I have on um, the, the NAS and restore it. Yep, it, iPhone says restore in progress. So it looks like it's already moving. Now we just have to wait. fairly big backup and it goes this so I can see the size of this yeah that's fairly large so now we just have to wait
All right, so I amazing said the restore is completed. We're gonna go through the setup screen on the iPhone and we'll let this all get completed. And we're back up and running. So all of my old apps are here. We're gonna swipe through all this and you can see all my old things are basically coming back down, which is amazing. So now I just have to wait and we should be good to go.